Hi, my name is Sina Javan Koshtel, and I am the product manager of Slide 2 and Slide 3 software. In this video, I am going to talk about the library of material strength models that we have in the Slide 2 and Slide 3 software. In the Slide 2, we have 21 material types, and in the Slide 3, we have 16 material types. The slide two ones includes the new block model material type that comes from the slide three software as well. We divided this comprehensive library of material models into two different categories, isotropic material models and isotropic material models. In this video, I will show you an example of a dam which includes several different material types. Let's look at the slide two and slide three together. Here is the example of a dam in the slide two software. You can see here we have different types of materials being used in the model. Let's look at the material properties menu and see what are the material types that we have used in this model. To do that, we go to the properties menu, define materials. We have shell, core, transition, and concrete. As you can see in the material properties dialog for Every material type, we have a formula of the shear strength written in front of the material type. In this case, you can see what parameters you are using for this material type. To look at the library of material models that we have in the slide 2 software, you click here. You can see we have different types of material models in the software. And depends on the data that you have and the application, you can use different material types. For this example, for the shell material, we use power curve. For the core and transition, we use a material type called shear normal function. That if I want to show you, we go to the edit. And in the shear normal function, you define effective normal stress and shear stress in the tabular format. And the software is going to create this curve for you. Our concrete is an inferent strength material, which is at the bottom of the dam. Now let's close this one. Let's compute the model. To look at the results, we go to the analysis menu, interpret. You can see that for this model, the factor of safety using a Spencer method is 2.02. .02. And this is the slip surface. As I showed in the material properties, we calculate the shear strength of each material type. So to look at the shear strength, there are two different ways of doing it. First of all, we can look at all the slices. And for each slice, you can click and zoom in. And you have all the information for each slice, including the shear strength at the base of each slice. There is another way, zoom back. In this menu, you can see show values along the surface. By clicking here, you can look at the values of different parameters, even base cohesion, base friction angle, for example, different parameters along the critical slip surface. And also you can look at the shear strength at the base of your critical slip surface. By zooming in, you can see that in each material, this shear strength is uh, calculated based on the slices that they are in that material and is shown here, which is a nonlinear function. A slide three software has the same material types as the slide two software. So we can take this model into slide three software and look at the results and see how the software handles the same model with the same material properties. To take the slide two models into a slide three, we have two ways. Either we go to file, import, import the slide two project, or it's easier, you can just drag and drop a slide two files into the slide three software. So when you do that, the software is going to suggest an extrusion depth for this model to make it a 3D model. We click OK. It is successfully imported. 
As you can see here, this is the same model in this view as we had in slide two, but it is extruded normal to the model. If we go to the material properties menu, you can see that it's exactly the same material type being imported into the slide three software. So if you look at the shear normal function, it is exactly the same function as the slide two software. To compute the slide three model, you can just click on this compute button. To look at the results, go to the results tab and the software is gonna show you the factor of safety. And this is the critical steep surface being calculated. To compare the factor of safety with the 2D one, if you remember the results of the slide two software, the factor of safety was 2.02. .02. And if you look at the 3D results, the factor of safety is 2.04, because this is an extruded model and we don't expect to get larger uh, difference. Similar to the slide two model, you can look at the column viewer. And for each column in this material, you can look at the parameters that they are being used to calculate factor of safety, including the shear strength of the columns. Also, similar to the slide two software, you can look at the contours of the different parameters along the critical steep surface. By clicking on show contours, for example, you can look at the shear strength, as you can see here, or you can look at other parameters similar to the base cohesion and base friction angle that we saw in the slide two software. So as you can see, a slide two and a slide three for the same model, we have the compatible material properties and we have an extensive library of different material types and depends on the application, you can pick one of them. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section. Thank you.